And now to address uh, the, the event that we had uh, at McEachern. I know there have been many to offer comments, opinions, and ideas for future action regarding the shooting in the McEachern High School parking lot. Let me start out by saying that I greatly appreciate the cooperation we received and continue to receive from law enforcement. I cannot say enough about Director Mike Register, Chief Stuart Van Hooser, Cobb EMA Director Cassie Masloom, Major Mestry, 9-11, Fire, and EMS. The debrief meeting that we had was very beneficial to allow us all to come together to discuss lessons to be learned from the event and highlighted the successes. I appreciate last year when Mr. Wheeler was chair for his numerous conversations with me regarding school safety plans. The short time that Mr. Scammerhorn has been chair this year, we have also had similar conversations regarding student and staff safety. I understand there are many in our communities who are interested in what we are doing for student and staff safety. I would encourage all of those who are interested to visit www.cobshield.com where all publicly accessible information regarding our alert system, tip line, safety checks, plans, and processes can be found. There have been some to suggest a discussion on safety should be taking place during a board meeting. As everyone knows, including board members and the public, safety plans, procedures, and protocols are discussed in executive session and not in public. That being said, it is sad, really, that some would even try to take credit for things already in motion and having already been in motion. Like other elected public officials, board members are well aware that Georgia law prohibits items discussed in executive session from being shared outside executive session. There have been some to suggest that a safety plan was not present from McEachern or that it was not followed. And that if a plan exists, it should be given to certain politicians for their perusal and even approval. Let me be clear. There has always been a safety plan for each and every Cobb school, including McEachern. And that plan was followed on February 1st, 2024. There have also been some to suggest that the principal should resign or be terminated. Again, let me be very clear. Regina Montgomery, was the principal of McEachern High School on February 1st, 2024, and acted according to policy and procedure. Regina Montgomery is the principal of McEachern High School, and Regina Montgomery will continue to be the principal of McEachern High School. I do find extremely disturbing, but not surprising, that the same people in political groups who spoke against increased security measures in our school or even to take resource officers out of our schools completely, are now the very same people screaming the loudest about not having enough resource officers. Excuse me, Mr. Eggstone. I'll pause while you... My, my, excuse the next, the next outburst, you can be rude in the lobby. The next one, we will adjourn to this, okay? You will... Please, please sit down and quit being rude and let us conduct our business. Period. Mr. Regsdale. Officers, please, for those that are disrupting, those that are being, uh, please ask them to move to the lobby. They can listen out there. Mr. Regsdale. They are the very same people screaming the loudest, but not having enough resource officers, but also the very procedures used to determine who was and was not a suspect. I should also point out that comparing actionable code reds within the Syntegix crisis alert system nationwide, CCSD's actionable code reds are literally less than half of the average number nationwide. CCSD is one of the safest school districts. There will apparently always be those who choose to make up their own version of the truth, a polite way to say that they lie, and you can come at me with all of your lies, but do not even attempt to come at my principals, my teachers, or my team. They are all too far and work 
too high to stoop to your level. Thank you, Mr. Chair.